Oh my god. I'm sweating like crazy. You have got to get an elevator in here. I had to walk so much. Our office is on the first floor. There are literally no other floors here. Oh. Anyways, why do I feel so tired all the time? I run out of energy, I sweat, and I don't even do anything. So like, what's going on? That's because you're overweight. You're morbidly obese. You need to start losing huh? weight. You need to start eating healthier. I just had a salad like two weeks ago. What are you talking about? You have diabetes, diabetes 2, diabetes 3, and you have the pre-sequel of diabetes 4. And on top of that, you also have morbidly obedience. You're going to die. Oh my god, I don't want to die, so what do I do? You need to start working out. Wh work out? Yes, working out. Oh, hell no. What are you, what are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to escape. Oh. It's been almost a year since our last Emberlin raid update and the reason why I'm actually doing this today is because she recently uploaded a video called An Honest Look at What I Ate Today at 500 Pounds. I thought she was more than 500 pounds. And the reason why this was a different video is because usually she just eats Cheetos for breakfast with a lot of other snacks. And for dinner she just ends up doing a mukbang Taco Bell bar at home. And she also posted another video how she's scared of dying, like she finally realized what her weight is doing to her body. And if you haven't seen my previous video, it's gonna be the first link in the description, make sure to check that out. But honestly, good for her. It's never too late to, to, to say sorry. It's never too late to say sorry. Isn't that a Justin Bieber song? Is it too late now to say sorry? It's better late than sorry. It's better late than ever. I'm sorry. I'm not feeling like myself today because I'm recording this video during the day and I feel a little naked. Like, oh my God. Okay. So the first thing I'm having today is this Gatorade Zero. Okay. That's the Glacier bad. Freeze, which is one of my favorites. Um, I've been awake for a couple hours now. Okay, you don't need to show it us like that. I think we've seen a Gatorade before. So good. Okay, you guys, so I got some Mediterranean food. Is this lunch? Rice with some chicken. And I thought it was gonna be cubes of chicken, but it's like this big chunk. That looks so good, actually. What I think of that. And then I got to choose between super salad and I chose Greek salad, of course. Mm -hmm. Love me a salad. Love me a salad. It's like a really bad habit where I need something sweet uh -huh. after I eat. Uh -huh. So I got this red velvet thing. Do I need it? No. Am I gonna have some of it? Yes. I cannot be mad at her. <laughs> I feel like that's 90% of the people that, or maybe it's just me. I'm relating to Amberlynn Raid because in, when I eat something, I always wanna finish it with something sweet. And if you're in my comment section saying, oh, I never crave anything sweet, I'm a fucking robot. Oh, okay. Why are you watching my videos then? Fucking robots. Go solve one of those captions or whatever. This did not look like a bad lunch though. Just the rice, the chicken, and the salad. This is progress. Like, I don't I don't think I could finish this whole thing, but okay, that's not bad. Little did my dumbass know she devours a whole cake in a few minutes. Let's do a taste test. Is it Amberlynn approved? I think so. Do I want it a little bit more dry? Yes. You mean fried? Salad. Okay, salad queen. Salad slaps. There's like no attractive way to eat a salad. I am having a Dr. Pepper Zero a Sugar lot of diet Cherry Cokes, though. with my food. Currently, this is my favorite drink. I love how she's showing us her sodas like she's showing us an expensive makeup brand or something. So this is my Diet Coke. Can you guys see it? It's Diet Coke. They actually sell these in one of my favorite bougie stores, the local gas station. Oh, hey, you all. So I am pretty freaking full. I'm not going to lie to you. So she finished the rice. So I do want to try this with you guys, though. I don't even want to, like, ruin it. it what about good. the salad, though? Wait. Oh, this isn't red velvet. Okay, they didn't have the red velvet, I guess. Which what? is what I wanted, so they gave me this instead. The, That's the fine. salad was I not. I have no idea what it is, but let's go. Did anyone see the salad? When she said I'm done, she finished the rice and she ate some of the chicken. And then she shows the salad. You didn't touch the salad. I thought the salad slapped. 
the salad slaps. She literally just tried the salad once and she said, this salad slaps. Not literally. Let's see a before and after picture real quick. She literally touched that salad once after she just told everyone that it slapped and then she was full because all she ate was rice. It kind of tastes like a chocolate pie. They gave her the wrong order as usual. <laughs> Y'all, I have such a bad sweet tooth. Oh I God. just ate three fourths of this, but it was good. Now I'll save the rest for later. Damn, she... Okay, you guys, so it has been hours since I last talked to you. Okay. It is time to eat. So I'm hoping it still tastes good. It's not as fresh right now because it has been some time. Ain't no the way. It's like all smeared. Sorry about that. She still tastes good. Is she trying to gaslight us? This is this is 100%. This, oh my god, she's gaslighting us. The fact that she pretended that she was done with the dessert after she just devoured 80% of the dessert and then she just cut the video making it seem like it was four hours later? Hey guys, so I just finished devouring this Tres Leches cake that they gave me by accident because I clearly ordered an apple because I have a fruit tooth, you know, when you crave fruits? And they gave me this Tres Leches, like, who will eat this anyways? This is disgusting! But yeah, I finished it just to be nice because I don't want to offend the bakers. So I'm done eating right now, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, it's been four hours since you last saw me and uh, I took a break, I did a lot of things and now we're back eating this Tres Leches cake that they obviously gave me this Tres Leches cake by accident. Absolutely disgusting. See you on the next one. Ambi, Ambi, who do you think your audience is? Like 12 year olds that watch Coco Melon? Next thing I'm gonna have is a Sprite Zero a lot Sugar. Of... I actually just ordered something to eat, so I'll show you guys that when it gets here. A lot of Zero Sugar sodas. Meal. A little ASMR action. This is not an ASMR channel, Ambi. My pet peeve is that I always wash the top of the cans because have you seen those videos online where these soda cans stay in the filthiest storage rooms or warehouses? There's like mice pee and all that nasty shit on the soda there. So I always rinse the top off. Okay, so I ordered ramen, but it's like a ramen with no broth. It's like a carbonara spicy chicken ramen. I've had it Where's a couple chicken? times and it's honestly so freaking delicious, but it's very spicy, but like in a good way because I love spice. I wish there was a way where I can show my face, but also show my food at the same time, but I don't have that type of angle right now. So You're a YouTuber though, you could do that. Sure. They have these things called tripods. <laughs> like you're literally a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> I wish there was a way for me to show you guys what I eat without showing you my, my thingy here. Like only if, like only if there was like this tool that you could you know, put your video on a tripod and, and it just holds the video for you. <sighs> Only if things like that existed. First thing I want to do is I want to rate my day today okay. on what I ate and what I drank out of 10. Zero being like, wow, that is the worst I've ever done. Like binge city, emotional eating, like just eating so much I don't feel good. All up here. Okay, so if I was to rate it, I would give her a... Two out of ten? All she drank throughout the day were diet sodas and the best thing that she had was the rice with the chicken but she really didn't eat much of the chicken. It was just basically rice and the dessert that she devoured in a few minutes. But like, oh, there was a salad that she... She said it slapped, but apparently it wasn't slappy enough for her to try it more than once. <laughs> to be fair, this wasn't the worst thing she has eaten before, you know? Like, we've seen a lot worse. And I would actually maybe give this a 3 or 4 out of 10. And in reality, we really don't know what she ate throughout the day just by an 8 minute video. She could have eaten a lot less, she could have eaten a lot more. We have no idea what she actually ate because she just decided not to show it on camera. 10 is like, wow queen like okay like two or three maybe instagram is about to be 
created for yours truly. So obviously I'm exaggerating a bit, um, but I feel like today overall, I'm gonna be Three? at about like seven and a half. Obviously everyone's scale is gonna be different. Seven and a half? Because normally, I'm down here at like a three. Maybe seven and a half pounds worth of food, but seven and a half out of ten rating? Healthy rating? I try to eat salads as much as I can and really try to avoid fried food as much as possible. And I think I do a good job and I give myself like a like a six out of ten health wise. But she ate all that shit and she just called it a, a 7.5 out of 10. Oh my god. What the fuck? There's usually a name for people like Ambi. What do you call the- Coming! What the hell is that? What is something that I did today regarding like my eating? that I'm proud of. I'm very, very proud of the dessert. I, not only did I not finish my ramen, even though she devoured the dessert. I would have been proud as well, actually. I really wanted to, but I knew it was a good idea to stop, but I didn't have any nighttime candy. Mm. I have lately have been having nighttime candy. Candy. I love me a chocolate bar at night. And I'm and just really happy that I didn't do that today. So I'm anyways, that today. I don't know if you guys did it. Is that the valley accent that I'm hearing? I didn't have any nighttime candy. Chocolate bar at night. I didn't do that today. <laughs> kind of reminded me of the Trisha Paytas accent. A joke, but you wanted to get it. I wouldn't that cash grab. Why is it so valid? I didn't have any nighttime candy. What did you not have again? Any nighttime candy? Nighttime can what? Candy. Are you turned on or something? Let me show you one of the healthy snacks that she had a while ago. So I feel like for people who don't eat bread or whatever, everyone needs bread. Want a sandwich? Try it like this. That's why I randomly came up with this. I was like, hmm. Fuck it. I'm sure people have brave. done it before, but. She's brave. All right, let's try it. <laughs> I'm really nervous because this is so random. Nervous? It's a cucumber with a bunch of sour cream and bacon. What are you nervous about? You're not eating exotic food and you're like, oh my God, I've never had exotic food before. Like, what does it taste like? It's a fucking cucumber with sour cream and bacon. Uh, bonjour, can I have the, uh, wow, very, uh, fancy menu here? Can I have the cucumber with sour cream and uh, the, uh, what's this? Bacon, uh, very fancy. Uh, yeah, can I please have that? Like, very exotic. Uh. It's like a little cucumber boat. A little cucumber boat? Girl, that's a whole shit. Mm -hmm. If that giant ass cucumber, who was probably like a 12 inch, you know what I mean, is what she considered tiny? What about all my brothers out there with like a five or a six inch? <laughs> I feel so bad, guys. It is not small, I promise. Five and six is more than enough. Don't feel bad about yourself. <laughs> oh my god, she really had a Fucking 12 inch cucumber and she just called it tiny. Hey everyone, it's Ambi and today I'm gonna show you guys what I eat for lunch. It's actually a healthy. <laughs> I eat healthy sometimes. When I go to Panera, I don't get chips on the side. I get apples. So today I'm gonna show you my healthy lunch. I actually bought a couple of tiny cucumbers. You just get these cucumbers. So, this is my tiny cucumber. What is happening when it, with inflation? Look at this thing. This is th shrinkflation. What did they do to mini cucumbers? They look so small. It tastes like... Uh-huh. Let the expert speak. Ooh. What does it oh. taste like? I am so curious to hear what does the ba what does the bacon with sour cream and cucumber taste like? What ties it all together is the bacon. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What else? Honestly. What does it taste like? Mmm. Mm. Does it taste like cucumber? <gasps> She's thinking. I'm actually shocked. Why? This is really good. What does it taste like though? Mm. It's good. I probably couldn't eat all of this though. <laughs> probably not. 
Who would have thought cucumber, bacon, and sour cream tastes like cucumber, bacon, and sour cream? She's so brave for this. <laughs> Why was she so nervous? Like, what the fuck did she think she was eating that she was nervous? Like, she was so nervous to try. Oh my god. Some lettuce. Looks good. Smells good. So we all know that Amberlynn has really terrible luck with her takeout orders and as usual, they got her order wrong. 11 out of 10 times they will get this poor girl's order wrong because I think they just hate her. Hate her for having mini cucumbers. Extremely confusing mystery or- Mystery order? Three boxes. I only ordered two things so I don't know what, what this is. is. Okay. So I ordered crab rangoon, mm -hmm. so confused what I got. And then I ordered some fried rice. Okay. This is what a fried Oreo looks like if anyone's been curious, because I have never heard of a fried Oreo in my life. So you ordered three things. What? Oh my gosh. So she said she ordered the fried Oreos. She showed us the three things that she said that she ordered. And then she says, I only ordered two things. Wrong order, but you could tell exactly what fried Oreo was when she had never heard of it in her life. Never heard of it, but she knew what it was. Why are people being haters right now? She knew what fried Oreos were because it's like knowing what someone else's ass crack looks like, but you've never seen it before. You know what I mean? Like when you picture someone's ass crack, you're like, okay, yeah, that's what it looks like. But in reality, you've never seen it before. <laughs> that was, I'm so sorry for that example. <laughs> The only reason why she knew what fried Oreos look like is because she has her masters in uh, fried Oreos. Amberlynn Raid thinks fast food is gross and scary. That's capping, you know. Most of her videos are her eating takeouts, which are 90% of the time just fast food. Okay, those do not taste so good. They're fries. The gaslighting. I'm scared to be eating fast food, but I still do it. I didn't. I didn't go get this food. I'm too scared. Oh, that we believe actually. We know that you didn't go get it. I mean, for sure you placed the order. I don't think DoorDash Jesus placed the order for you, but we know that someone actually delivered it to your house. But to say that it's scary and you didn't order it. Oh my god. The way she was trying those fries as if she had never had fries before, like... Oh my god. These are... Whatever these are, they're disgusting. Yeah, they really don't taste good at all. Yeah, like I would never eat this because they're just straight up disgusting and... This is definitely not my kind of... Ew. That's nasty. Did they give me the small size or something? Because it's empty. The DoorDash driver ate my food. I'm gonna end this video here. Hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon if you enjoyed this dumb video. Also, consider becoming a member to watch my videos today early. Also, thank you to Kenya, IDK, Queen G, and Christina for being members on this channel. And I'm curious to know how many times did they get your order wrong? Because it feels like every time they mess up Emberlyn Raid's order, they add something extra to it. Has anyone noticed that? Like, she keeps getting extra food on top of what she supposedly asked for. Why can't they do that mistake with me? Not Nine out of 10 times, they always give me the right order. If they're gonna mess something up, they're not gonna give me extra food. So why is she always getting extra food? I'm so mad.